What's going on guys? So we back. This is an excited video for me. So what we have today is an upgrade from what I have already. Major upgrade. I want y'all to see it. I look a little dusty, just got off of work. Don't mind me. So I want to get down into, oh, before I start, sorry about the quality today and the background, doing some remodeling. So I got everything everywhere. But anyway, that's not the point of this story. We got a box. We got a box. So let's open it up and see what we got. We're going to go from there. A little dull. Do it with the back side. <clears throat> Never cut towards you. Always cut away. Yeah. See what we got here, baby. Ooh, pretty already. Got a little popcorn. Let's pull her out. Oh, she heavy too. She heavy? What else do we have? Nothing. Nothing. Alright guys. So we got a big upgrade. Let me get closer. Closer. We got the EOS 5D Mark IV. With the 24 to 70 F4. F4 now. F4. It's not the latest and greatest, but it's still an F4. Let's get it. All right. So let's dive down. See what this bad boy holds. And let's get into it. All right, guys. So we're going to open this up. We're going to see what we got. Oh, first, got some accessories. Bomb. We got 128 gig uh, compact flash card. And then we got 128 gig SD card. Or, yeah, SD, right? Yeah, SD. Bam. So let's open her up, see what we got. I'll let you guys see it first. We got a limited warranty. Definitely got to fill that out. Box. All right. What's in compartment number one? Ooh, we're going to save that for last. Save that for last. I'll just take everything out of the box. Put this here. Anything else? Nothing. We got books, baby. We got books. Big old books. Put that to the side. We got your EO solution disc. And we got. The EO software instruction. Nobody used those. Follow me. Drop it in. I think that's it. Put her up. One more look. Get her out of here. Alright, so I'm guessing this is the accessory box. So let's see what we got in here.
You got your 5D Mark IV camera strap. If you want to get robbed for all your branding you want to do, do that. I don't use it. File it. You got your... What is this? Oh, you got your USB 3.0 cable for like data transfer and all that good stuff. What else, what else, what else? You got your, what's this? LC E6 charger brick. You got your eye cup. You got your battery. And then, and then, that's a nice weight to it, man. This here, stash right to the side, to the side. You got your lens hood that comes with it. that baby let's brighten her up for you look at her it's the biggest lens that I have it's the heaviest lens that I have anyway this is your 24 to 70 f4 big lens big lens it comes with an added micro can't see it. Oh well. But anyway, how you get to that is you extend out to 70, then you hit macro, and it lets you go to things like 75 or 80. Pretty cool. One thing I can say though is this zoom. The zoom is kind of stiff. I would like it to be a little loose, but that's cool. You got your focus ring. You got your indicator. Uh, it's kind of blurry to see. Let me put it back. There we go. Get your focus. Come on, baby. Get back. Get back. Baby, come back. There she goes. Focus ring. Bam. So, there we go. Let's open up the battery. Oh. You got your battery for it. Charging brick. Like I said, you got your eye cup. And for the main event, guys so she's all together she's a beauty she's heavy what I'm recording on right now is my rebel t5i so if any of you guys know anything about cameras you know it's a big upgrade a big upgrade money wise also so but the reason why I did switch to this is because I just started a photography business and my picture quality on my on my five my T5i it was it was, a, it was still good, but what I can get off of this versus that is is a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have an updated video. Uh, I'm gonna use this for about a month or so, and I'll do an updated video 
on my thoughts on it. And then if you guys want to see uh, what's in my camera bag, let me know that. We can do that. But first impressions, this thing is amazing. I've been wanting this thing for a long time. The look, the feel, the, the quality that these videos put out, or the, the images that they put out, you know, a lot of people, you know, down it because, you know, most people are, are cinematographers. So they're looking for the video aspect of it. And they don't like the fact that the 4K records in motion JPEG. For me, from what I'm recording on now versus this, I don't care. But if you guys want to see any more videos, let me know. Hit a like, and I'll be clicking with you later. Just remember, don't meet me there. Beat me there. And this your boy Darkness9020 signing out. Peace.